YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Your boy back with another video. And today, you feel me, got another tutorial video. You see the title, I'm gonna be going over some of the lessons I learned so far on the tutorial platform, you feel me? So, if you're on Turo, you got a fleet of your own, maybe, or you think about getting on the Turo, then let's see these tips and lessons that I personally learned, you feel me? So, you don't make the same mistakes. Let's go straight over. Okay, so number one thing on Turo, I wanna say, reviews are everything. So you feel me, especially if you're first starting out, you know, you got no, no, nothing under your belt, no, you feel me, no reviews, no, no nothing. So your main goal when you first start out is to get those five star reviews. So if you gotta take the extra mile to make sure your car's clean or leave an extra little pack of gum or sanitizer wipes inside the car for your, for your rental, to make sure you get that five star review, do what you got to do. I'm trying to tell you guys, reviews are very important. You feel me? You, you, you get your stuff at one time, get a few five stars in your belt, and then uh, you feel me? Somebody new come look, come check check you out. Oh, sure, okay. I'm trying to see their car. I'm looking at the reviews. Oh, okay, fantastic rental. Oh, the car's always clean. They're always early on time, friendly, like all type of stuff like that. You're going you're going to bang this out the reviews. You feel me? Because you trying to buy something, don't you look at the reviews? Trying to move somewhere, don't you look at the reviews? Right, reviews is very important. Going along with those reviews, number two is you gotta make sure your cars are always clean and always maintained. You feel me? Just you feel me? Just, just put the shoe on the other foot. Say say you going out trying to get yourself a nice running car. Maybe your cars in the shop, or you just you just need some wheels for the for the day. You feel me? You don't want to get no car that's that's stinking and got gum stuck to the floor mats and and crumbs in the seat and stains everywhere and fingerprints all on the windows. No, you don't want that. You want your windows clean, street free, so you can see. You know, you want it to smell good, no crumbs, no dirt, none of that. So, plus it's well maintained. You don't want to, you feel me, have your steering wheel shaking, have your, have your, your car feeling crazy when you break and you know, you want to have everything smooth and operational. Like I said, number one, those reviews won't come. Like, hmm. As long as you're a good host, them, them five star reviews, they're gonna come on their own. Trust me, I'm all star host. Trust the me. The thing is, third, if you live close to the airport, you really gonna bang on Turo. See, me personally, I don't do no deliveries and I don't, I don't drive the car for nobody. I don't do no airport, nothing like that. So if you're close to an airport, you feel me, you're getting all the tours, people coming in. So you're getting local and you feel me, international people coming through trying to rent your car. So that'll almost pretty much double, if not triple, your um your booking. So. Airport deliveries are definitely, uh, that will definitely make you bang. Especially if you, oh, oh, especially if you deliver anyway, you definitely gonna bang. It's me, I don't do any deliveries. Everybody has to come to me. So I'm doing decent with doing no deliveries and no airport, not no, you feel me? A high, high value spot, nothing, nothing crazy like that. So, especially if you do them deliveries, especially airports, you really going bang. All right, guys, the next thing, you feel me? I'm in Maryland, so, you feel me? I'm doing decent, you feel me? I can go to, you know, feel me, drive off at the airport if I ever feel like it, which I probably won't, but BWI airport, and I'm just in Maryland, I'm not like a high tour city, and so if you already know you're in a high tour city, like maybe like Miami, Las Vegas, Atlanta, like Florida, you know, how, you know the tour, the hot, hot spot, tour spots, then you already know you're going, I ain't even got to say, I ain't even got to say nothing, you already know you're going to back. <laughs> like, you feel me, you're going to have you know, it's always it's always people coming through the city. And people always need transportation. Transportation is a is very important. So we live in a key city too. Definitely going to bang on Turo. So never keep that in mind. Okay, the next thing I would say is you feel me, don't be nervous, you feel me. You might be wondering, oh no, what if somebody get, gets into an accident with my car? Oh no, what if somebody scrapes my tires up, scrapes my rims up? Oh no, what am I gonna do? Don't worry about that, you feel me? If anything like that happens, you feel me, Turo, you know, has their own, um, you know, their own insurance. So depending on what protection plan you um, you may have set up, you have a, I think a 90, a 75, I think like a 80, and like I think like a 60% plan, you feel me, depending on how much they take out and how much deductible you gotta pay. So, yeah, guys, I think right now, I think I'm on a 75, 25 plan, so I think my deductible, I think it's 250, so if anything happens like that, you feel me? If anything, you feel me, if the car didn't get towed it out already, but if anything happens like that, um, I would just have to pay a 250 deductible and then Turo would pay the rest, or they do have a no deductible, but I think that's a 60-40 plan, so you only bring in 60% of 
who they've been cards listed for. So, like I said, you feel me? So it's pretty much like being your own boss. So you feel me? You gotta figure out what, what you feel me? What would work best for you, pretty much. So that's just another thing. Okay, I guess the last lesson I would say with, I learned with Toro, you feel me? It's, it's something you feel me? You could definitely, definitely take serious and really feel me. Make a make a six figures with you feel me? Just like all the rest of these YouTubers be, um, you know, going over. You know, some of them you feel me? Maybe, maybe can't, but um. But you feel me on my channel, I'ma keep it real, you feel me? Keep it 100 percent honest. I'm not with all the clickbait and all that. So it's definitely you feel me, if you're serious about it, true, it's definitely a, a good way to make some passive income. Especially if you know you get a fleet, but they feel me, that's the only way you pretty much gonna make money with Toro. You can't really make a bag with one or two cars, you feel me? It's like the more cars you have, the more you you feel me you will profit. So I say me, say I make Say my like say say my Chevy Sport makes forty maybe like forty a day maybe like okay for that maybe like twenty dollars maybe profit I'm just coming up random numbers maybe twenty dollars profit so you can rent it out 15, 15 days out of the month you feel me do the math that's that's twenty profit that's on one car you feel me if you got two cars that's forty three cars that's you feel me sixty sixty a day sixty times you feel me so that's how I figured it out if you got more cars the more money you'll make. But you feel me? You just gotta make the smart decisions, get the right cars. You feel me? Make the make the right market decisions. Be your own boss. Take everything serious. But that's pretty much all the lessons I pretty much learned about doing Turo for this one year. I am an officer, so I'm no I'm no rookie. I know that I know that pretty much the ins and outs of Turo. Turo insurance works. Even though I haven't had any accidents, any claims. I always took my pre-trip photos inside, outside, side shots. The, Mirrors, the tires, the rims, the trunk, the carpet, the seats, the cup, uh, cup holders, the, the inside, the doors, everything. Take pictures of everything. If there's anything gets messed up, boom, that's a claim. That's more money in your pocket, guys. So that's pretty much it for this video. Take my lessons, compare them with your lessons, or you feel me, add them to the knowledge you already have. And yeah, guys, you'll definitely be successful if you take it serious. But until next time, guys. Mm-hmm.